Oops, I just realized that I did not start recording again after I stopped it earlier. Shit. Hi, YouTube. <laughs> uh... Yeah, so that, theoretically, that's better. I don't know. It's hard to say. You know, I should want to check really quickly. So that's 56.49 versus... 50, yeah, okay, so that what, that actually was better. Okay. I don't mind wasting some more as a regret just to check. I have more than enough of them. <laughs> Hey, give me another map. Huzzah. Nope, that is the one with the goddess statue. I do not fucking do that one. I hate that one. Plateau it is. It's fine. That is not fine. That's not fine. There's one particular affix on these that really just destroys me. Well, besides can't regenerate. Uh, the other one that is really bad is monsters have a chance to avoid bleed, poison, and impale. Because that, that cuts my damage down by half, usually. Let's grab some scarabs. Uh, that's a good pick. Grab some strong boxes. Grab some breach. Grab an abyss. Oh wait, I have five. Five areas in here. Okay, cool. So I will use four scarabs. None of these are master missions, so I can take June, Fav Fortune Favors, and Sewing Axe Arch. This map's going to be a little bit more busy than the last one. Let's see how well it goes. Try not to die three times. <laughs> Okay, so the fortune favors must have given us the delirium. Actually, no, that's not true. I don't have delirium blocked, so it could have just been naturally spawning. Whoa. Whoa. What is eating my, my carrion golem? Wait. Hold on a second, Karen Go Oh my gosh, Karen Golem is pure is pure physical. And I'm on a physical reflection map, aren't I? Yeah, okay, that's what's killing it. I mean, if it dies, it dies. That's not a big oh god. Oh, why is innocence here? Don't like. Who the fuck? Which one of you brought innocence here? I think it's he's dead. Yes, it is Kraken time. Okay, that's just chaos damage. That does not affect me. It intervention. Or over there. Oh, player orb. I didn't really bother to finish that delirium, did I? <laughs> Zoom. I just have an increased effect uh, Quicksilver that I can use whenever I needed. This is not a fast build. I am like Tortle myself. Okay, evasion rating's fine. 
Wait, is evasion writing bad for me? I guess, I guess my spiders... Oh yeah, these are all attacks. Wait, evasion writing might not be a freebie like it is on my other builds. Oh god, no, no, I don't like that. I don't like that. That got very messy quickly. I'm gonna re-summon the carrion golem because he's dying badly. Oh, there's a shrine here. Okay, that's not helping my cause. I love that the spiders eat things basically like piranhas. They're great. Oh, stone circle. I hate stone circle. Let's see. Let's see how well this goes. Oh, I guess I can convocate into the stone circle, allowing me to hold out better. Yay, choking miasma. That's a freebie. Ow. Intrinsic catalyst, more choking miasma. Since that's chaos damage, nope. Stay away from the cold damage. Convocate. Bring Tortle into the circle. B, B circle Tortle. Circle Tortle over here, please. Why am I so fast suddenly? Oh, because there's corpses everywhere. That's why I'm so fast. It's buffing me. Nope. Cool, let's take five Um, mm, I don't want to do that. <laughs> I'll take Corrupted Blood. I have a Corrupting Blood Flask. Portal. Portal. Oh. Portal, come here. Hide with me, Tortal. Or... Eat that man, either or. Actually, I prefer you eat that man instead of hiding. Technically, you are replaceable. <laughs> no, I I would prefer that Tortle does not die. Because I probably will follow soon after. <laughs> and also, I like him. I have an emotional bond with Tortle. Portal over here. Oh, but since I'm using a uh, Mark skill as heavily as I am, I've been considering uh, going for Mark the Prey, which is a Mark skill notable on the right side of the tree. Can I open? No, I can't open my skill tree. All right. <laughs> It basically reduces the accuracy of whatever is marked and makes it take 10% more damage. So it would be good because like if, if I no, that was the wrong skill. I tried to use Vault Discipline and I hit Convocation instead. No. Uh, Mark the Prey reduces accuracy, so I'll effectively have Evasion uh, as far as that works since Evasion is... Uh, basically your evasion rating versus the, their accuracy rating, so you can either ha add evasion or take away accuracy, and they both function the same, kind of. They just scale differently. And also, take 10% increased damage is good. Currently, I'm running Brave Pact, which is the uh, chance to deal double damage, which isn't really a thing that's useful to me, because the hits of my, my the the hits of my spiders are like 2000 damage a piece and the poisons of my spiders are like a spider can maintain like 800,000 damage worth of poisons each so grave pact actually isn't that big a deal it's just was like the best option at the time
Rank, dex, physical damage, and axe attack speed. That actually sounds really nice. Put all that shit away. Back into the map. Portal is life. That is why he has so many protections. He's got minion life support. He's got meat shield support, which reduces the damage he takes when he's near me. And also gives him physical damage reduction. He has his friendly neighborhood meat bag beside him. No, sorry, not meat bag, meat sack. That's what they're called. Who's buffing his health. So I just had a great idea. I kind of want to name the turtle. So, I'm going to try not to butcher this because it is, does not come from my culture and I don't want to be an insensitive white person. Uh, but, attempting to understand it, that is an Esh. Uh, there is mythos surrounding the world turtle. Basically, a turtle with that holds all of the world on its back from uh, basically as a it's one of the many creation myths in existence and that would make him her gaia the uh feminine like mother goddess goddess mother earth name whatever you want to call it But since the world turtle is supposed to be the world, it has supposed to have the world on its back in the mythos, that actually is like really fitting to call it Gaia. I don't actually know if any cultures still believe in those creation myths or not. I mean, people believe in a lot of things, so who knows? I just mean more so. I don't know if there's anyone who would be bad <laughs> who's, like, actually around anymore. But, whatever. Come over here, Gaia. I need you. Why are you so far away from the research room? Hmm. Oh, my poor carrion golem got eaten. Gravitius moves to research. I don't know what Gravitius does. I think Gravitius is good for research. At most, I can get 21 points, which is not enough. Oh, that would make them neutral, which is bad. I'll interrogate them. Get rid of this. Zoom. I'll teleport you when I get there, Tortle. Teleport, Tortle. Oh, no. Did this seriously have to be right beside a fortification? That's not good. Ow. Don't leave me alone. I really don't need... Wait... Holy shit, they killed all of the intervention members on Tier 14 outside of the base. That usually doesn't happen, because they usually teleport back inside instead before you can kill them. I wonder if they got stunlocked or something. I don't know what how the spiders really work. 
like I, I've read through the wiki a number of times on them and how how they work, but I mean the wiki only has so much information. It's not always complete. I mean there was no information on on Turtle Buff on the wiki at all. Just what it did back in Ancestor, which is not useful. Convention. Uh, nope, I want Farichi there. Just occurred to me, I might be able to conv like I I've been trying to convert uh everything to chaos damage that I take all the damage I take because I mean that is just less damage that I take then. But this thing that does occur to me is I can also convert things to elemental damage, seeing as my elemental damage is partially being converted too. So I can try converting my physical to elemental, which does reduce the amount of damage I take. Though it's only a quarter as effective as converting physical directly to directly to oh Ranguka's boon. Okay, for a very short second we saw it. It's so rare to see it. I don't know, like partially because there's so many freaking things going on, it's really hard to keep track of all the buffs. But it looks exactly like the granite flask icon. That's the icon to be looking for. Ooh, drop awakened sextants. 6C a piece. Yes, please. Let me read some of my golems before they just perish. Okay, everyone. Everyone go over here and kill Peruna first. And now kill Poro. Kill Poro, I should say. Ooh, a Constrictor map and a Minotaur map. That's really lucky. Do I have bonuses to that? No, I don't, because the bonuses are right here. I have bonuses to Conqueror maps and Synthesis maps. But not that. So those were just natural drops. That's nice. We should see how strong this build is and like test it against some guardians. I do actually have some guardians waiting uh, with Kirak too, so I can ask him to open a portal. Oh man, my golems are getting shredded by the reflection. Four golems. Kind of bad because if my if my stone golem goes down, I lose a chunk of my regen, and if my carrying golem goes down, I lose a chunk of my damage. Ooh, eldritch exalted orb. Know how valuable those are. Don't see them very often. Eldritch Exalted Orb is. 9C! Hmm, fair nothing. Did we finish a safe house? No. June would have something for me otherwise. For a second, I thought we did. Oh, we almost have a Katarina, actually. That's interesting. I know I could just absolutely just rip apart Katarina with my Hex Blast build. It's the Orbital's, Orbital Strike build is just really, really good. But I am kind of tempted to damage test my build a bit. Put it against some unfair odds, maybe. See what happens. Let's try this constrictor. 
Maybe not with all of these extra things on it, though. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll pick. Hmm. Mm. I don't want to put myself in too much danger. I'll be fine. Last thing I want is to like maybe witness it or something though. That would be bad. Oh my gosh, I just realized that I've had the Path of Exile sound muted this entire time. Wow. <sighs> I'm so good at streaming. Well, I am learning still, so maybe I shouldn't be too, too rough on myself for that. Ooh, Awaken Sextants. Yes, please. Oh, hmm, that's a bit dangerous. Oh, well, that's also dangerous. Okay, well, at least it creates more things to turn potentially into Awakened Sextants. So, let's run around a bit and try to... Oh no, oh no, oh no. Portal, stay with me. I need you more than ever. And I'm really happy with the optimizations I did uh, before last stream, where I made a bunch of changes to my OBS, because the game just runs so much better now. It wasn't, like, properly utilizing my resources before, and now it's doing it a bit better. I'll go back and pick up all the shit. Trying to make use of as many bonus minions as I can, or bonus monsters as I can from the Delirium. Whoa. Yeah, that's the delirium. Projectile damage cluster. Those are always good. One of the better or medium clusters for sale. Okay, thankfully, none of. Ooh. That's four Awakened Sextants already, and I haven't picked them all up either. Five. Six. Good money. I'll come back into the Wildwood after I deal with the Constrictor. I don't really want to put the Wildwood challenge on anything know if the wisp will affect the constrictor probably last thing i want to do is find out that they do because i already don't know how much damage how much uh i'm going to be doing like damage wise because i'm still this build is still in progress so i don't know if it's set up the way i want it to yet like i haven't gone through the fine tooth comb and made sure that everything's set up right like i think everything's good roughly I am missing quality on a bunch of gems, and some of them are not leveled up. That is a problem. Which actually means that my specters and golems are a little bit less tanky than they should be. But I can fix that. I should actually fix that fairly soon, because I have... Uh... 
I have 110 chaos worth of specters right now. Mostly with the perfect marionette, which is 80. Turtle's 20. Meatbag is like... No, sorry. It's, it's actually called a meat sack, I should say. <laughs> kind of an important distinction if you ever go to look it up and you can't find meatbag. <laughs> okay, Turtle. Let's do this. Thankfully, the Seek and Destroy on these spiders is second to none. Yeah, yeah, I know you're eating him. Can I please go in? <laughs> Island of Devastation! Actually, I think... I can more or less get the turtle buff at anywhere on this island, so that's really good that it's a small island. Oh, I don't like... Oh, wait, this is... Oh, the Constrictor's Chaos Damage. Oh. Well, this might be a bit sad, then. <laughs> no, no, they did, they did bleed me. I guess they're ailments. Well, that's not gonna work, because I have physical damage reduction and... Chaos immunity. <laughs> yeah, I actually expected him to, like, put up an... Yeah, that was pure chaos damage. So are these fields that are supposed to murder you. Yeah, you weren't really set up for this, were you? <laughs> Ironically, my Hex Blast build would have actually had more trouble with this, because I've struggled to to cap my chaos resistance with her. Okay, Wildwood time. Not doing the Vol side area because it doesn't have boosted XP. So those are the only ones I do. Unless it has like some crazy reward, but I don't think I've ever seen some crazy or crazy reward on them before. Now, what would be amazing is if I just happen to wander into a King of the Mist. I, I still have yet to find another one since that very first one. That I recorded for the channel. I can't believe they want you, just, like, for the challenges to level all three... Ascendancies to like a secondary ascendancies to maximum. Like how how do you expect to do that when I can't even find the boss to level one of them? It took so little time to get the first three. Let's see. Let's taunt enemies, character sense. Onslaught and chill buffs. Eh, sure. Yeah, so that was kind of, like, surprising and sad. How bad that... <laughs> How how badly that constrictor just like fell over dead. I kind of expected him to put up like a little bit of a fight. Not not that. Oh, well, I have a chance, actually. I got a follow while I was offline. So thank you, C418VGYTRE. C418. 
Vigit Vigitri? Thank you for following. Don't know if you're here. Probably not, but thank you. Okay, well, I got a Minotaur. Oh, no. Those are like, that is like the worst set of buffs from the Minotaur. Unique bosses increase life, cast speed, attack speed, movement speed, and area of effect. How about... I don't do that. Elemental weakness should be... Yep, that should be... Mm. Our yellow lightning resistance will be at it down, but that shouldn't be too big a deal. Now, the more monster life would be killer for dealing with the boss, because I'm pretty sure that the boss still gets that too. Chaos Res, Hexproof, and Feeble. That is awful. Uh... I can take... I can, I can take Hexproof. It's... It's annoying... Wait, can I take Hexproof? No, I can't, because if I get into the Minotaur boss fight and I don't have the Penance mark, I can't summon any monsters to kill, and therefore I can't summon any spiders, therefore I can't do any damage. Yeah, let's try a Minotaur. I just gave it, like, beyond reduced crit damage, poison on hit, and hexproof. That's... So, it's not a bad map. Should be very reasonable for this character. The question is the Minotaur himself. Ooh. Lots of Legion Scarabs, those are nice. Did I add Jim to this, or was that automatic? Don't know. Ow. Yeah, whatever. Whatever, Leo. Ow. No, I don't like this. It? Go away. Who's that? Is that Tora? Yes, Tora. I recognize that voice. Oh god, that's a demon shepherd. Yes, please. Please eat that. Hmm. Boss gains evasion rating. I don't know how dangerous evasion rating is. Gonna change scene. For a second, transitioning over to Path of Building. This is the Path of Building. Is there... There should be a way to add... Enemy... Evasion, I believe. I got physical damage reduction. Not the same. I don't know how increased... I don't know how increased evasion works with enemies, really. I mean, I guess it wouldn't be all that different than less accuracy. I heard something in the background for a second, I was concerned. Yeah, actually, there is no easy way to check. Because I don't know what the... I don't know what the math is for enemy evasion or rating. Okay, well, whatever. Back to PoE. We can worry about that later. Hopefully it won't be a problem. The, the Minotaur has like 300% increased evasion rating now. Hopefully I will not regret that. It's in exchange for four awakened scare or awakened uh, sections, though, which is pretty 
Fucking good. Oh no, things poison me now. Whatever will I do against that that chaos damage over time? Nope. I don't nope. Damn it. I did not hit the vol discipline fast enough. Oh no, I was one percent from leveling too. <laughs> Oh, so rude. Come on, Tortle. Let's Tortle the hell out of this Minotaur. Oh, I missed some stuff. No! Oh, that's bleeding. I was wondering what that was. I always confuse bleeding and ignite, like the icons. Which would not make sense because I am bleed immune. Or ignite immune, not bleed immune. Which was more of an accident than an intention, surprisingly enough. Okay, bring everyone over here. Oh, Carrion Golem's taking some damage. Carrion Golem's down. Bring him back up. Bring everyone back together. Karen Golem's back down again. Wow. There's a Demon Shepherd in there, but that can't be it. Oh, there's an immortal shrine. That's what's going on. Okay. Wow, Tortle took a very small amount of damage. I did not mean to lean into the mic like that. I'm still not used to having a mic that can be leaned into. I also have boom arm for this mic that I have not set up yet. Decided to try that. That's gonna be cool. Feel like a professional. Oh, I forgot. I'm immune to damage. Because I have a uh, divine shrine. Yeah, no. You know what? I'm pretty happy with that use of a Divine Shrine. Okay, Veiled stuff. Oh, actually, Haku... I don't want to waste 3-star on 9 research points. What does Vegan do? Incubators. Uh, well, whatever. The fortification transportation people are over there to give intelligence, so that's what they're going to do. Dora moves to research. Lady 8. Nice. Hmm. That is not a good helmet. Almost. Almost. Wait, do I have any... No, I don't need refund points. Darn it. I just realized I can get myself some bonus ES if I move another point around. I do a lot of moving points around just to like make myself slightly better for this level. Ooh, 
Ooh, tier one evasion fracture. No, that's not part of the base. Specifically 94. Okay, that is not... That's only worth like 5 chaos, darn it. Anytime you see a tier 1 fracture, it's usually good, but... Eh, I'll keep it for now. So let me just check the intelligence one. I'm curious that the intelligence fractures are worth anything. Actually, they're worth about the same amount. About 5c each. I'll put them in somewhere together, see what happens. Okay, I just added Rusted Ultimatum Scarabs on as a potential drop from kills. Give me all the ultimatum scarabs. Yeah, reopen strong box. Open the other one. Okay, I just got ravenous. I just ate a construct corpse. I hope. Either the Minotaur is a human... Actually, he could be a humanoid beast or construct. I don't know which. I don't know, he's like the representative of an eldritch whore. What the hell is that? Hell, he could be a demon, for all we know. I'd love to know his classification so I can eat the right corpse. Oh, I should explain that. Ravenous uh, is one of the Warlock's abilities. Uh, the secondary, one of the secondary ascendancies from the Wildwood. Uh, basically, you eat a corpse in a area of a type that... Just of, of a particular type, and it will either give you... Uh, it Basically, whatever type of corpse it is, it will give you advantages against that particular... Or enemies of that type, so they'll do less damage to you, and you will do more damage to them. Which is a really nice thing if you know exactly what type of enemy you're going to be dealing with. Uh, the interesting thing is, though, you cannot desecrate corpses. Or you don't desecrate or unearth corpses for this. You cannot have created the corpses yourself. You have to find them organically in the area. Like the, uh, uh, detonate dead of scavenging, for example. Kind of functions that way. Well, this is plus one energy shield. <laughs> That's really bad. Scarab. Scurb. Portal. I got my turtle and my scurbs, and I'm gonna fight the Murnator. Come here, friend. Let's me fight thee. You have a large stick. I have a to oh, fuck no. You almost fucking kill my turtle. Get over here, you asshole. Stop attacking my turtle! No! Turtle, stay away from him! No! He killed my turtle! I'm very displeased. My turtles. Can I revive him? Turtle? 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 No, turtle. No! 
You are an asshat minotaur. How dare you eat my turtle? Can I raise him? I assume I can't raise him. Yeah, I can't raise him. Man, I like that turtle. That's so rude. We need a new turtle now. Do I have any more? No, I don't. I mean, okay, that's fair. It's fair that I don't have any more. I did not expect I would, but yeah, I'll have to buy. I have to buy a few turtles so I can have them in case. Uh, in case we have more turtle ca casualties. Okay. Thank you, guy. You are a good turtle. Now I shall take a large spider and put it in your place. That is not going to be nearly as friendly looking. Thankfully, it's also mostly invisible. So you won't deal with that too much. Man, not only did it eat my turtle, it ate my cart carrion golem too. That's so rude. Uh, well, the carrion golem is down a level. That is not helping it. Plus, I could get to level 21, so I could... I can essentially get two more levels on the carrion golem. Plus, I could get it some more... Or I can, I can have it take less damage via upgrading my meat shield support, too. I need to... I need to work on that. I don't want to lose another turtle. Okay, we're doing this. I don't even know what they're called. Turtle. The search tur- Oh, they're called guardian turtles. Okay. Toidle. Give me toidle. Need a new toil because this is not this is not acceptable lack of toilness. Uh okay, who just okay. Turtle. Wait, what was that? Oh, okay. Okay, I have another turtle now. Well, I wasted a spider matriarch, but whatever. Turtle! Uh, okay. Turtle. Okay, who just died? That would have been the meat sack. Meat sack. Marionette. Okay, well, I'm just gonna have a dead matriarch in my base, I guess. Actually, wait, I can fix that. Not you. Boom. And to protect Tortal, I need... Uh, I'm going to get myself some turtle protection. This is very important. Wait, do I want level 20 or a level 21 meat shield? Does it matter? It matters. Okay, I need a 21, ideally. Meat shield! Oh, fuck! A 2120 is too div. Well, I will do whatever I need to do to protect Turtle. Hmm. 
Ertl, I am putting two divine into you. <laughs> you will survive. Technically, I'm putting two divine into all of my specters and the entirety of the turtle population, but... Eh. Turtle. Okay, so it's going to move 2% faster, and it's going to take 6% less damage now. Yeah, that's... Oh, my uh, Incandescent Heart is plus 2 Dominion Gem, so that's a level 23 Meat Shield Support instead, which is even better. I got really lucky with this Incandescent Heart, because the Minion Gem Corruption was wor was basically worth nothing, because people are like, well, why do you want a Minion Gem thing on an Incandescent Heart? Because it's otherwise useless. <laughs> but, like... The 25% of elemental damage from hits taken is chaos damage, and the light radius is based on energy shield, and the increased light radius are all very good. Plus, it's got a good amount of energy shield, it's got a good amount of armor. It's a pretty, it's a good chest plate to have. It's purely defensive, and half the stats don't help me, but it is good otherwise. Hey, if I get a better feeding frenzy support, I could actually make portal move faster how much is another feed a new feeding frenzy nope this is still this is meat shield what no Okay, also about the same amount. Let's make Tortle faster. We are going to make him a super buff. We're going to make her a super buff turtle. We will turtle to the end of days. Okay. Doesn't matter if it's level 19. I just want the quality on it mainly. Okay, now it's 10% faster. Speedy turtle. How fast do you move now? Look at how fast he is. He's so fast. He actually is noticeably faster. <laughs> Which is kind of sad. But whatever. Hmm. Hmm. How much does a ooh. a level twenty one carry on golem is expensive? He keeps dying though. I kind of want to buff him, but whatever. I'll do that later. I've already put so much money into the stupid build, cause like, let me let me show you what's in my weapons, cause that's that is most of my money is in my weapons currently. So I have a squire here, which was two and a half div. I have an awakened deadly ailment support, which I don't even remember how much those are worth. How much are these worth? Uh, this was worth a divine and a half. I have a withering twenty one twenty withering touch support, which was. About a div, it's cheap. Er. I have an awakened melee physical damage support, which is the cheapest of all the awakened gems. I have an awakened minion damage support, which is a div. I have an awakened unbound ailments 522, which is four and a half div. And I have an awakened void manipulation 520, which is two div. It was so fucking expensive setting this up. It, uh, I dumped like 25 div into the stupid build already. Who are you, friend? Uh, nope, don't need that. 
I have some pretty good stuff, though. I just need to... Uh... Oh, thanks. But yeah, it, I have five awakened gems in here. I, go, I gotta say, it is... It really hurts the wallet, but it is a really fun build to play. I, I will definitely say that. I got a really, really sweet helmet here. Got some boot, good boots. Well, okay, the boots and the grave binds were nothing. So you know what? Let me actually go over the belt. So here... Actually, hold on. Hold on. Hold. Hold. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna kind of try to do this. This is gonna be, be a bit janky, but that's fine. Okay, we are going to transition scenes. Okay. Welcome to the Arachnophobia build here. This build is basically focused on... Energy shield and minion damage and nothing else, as you might imagine. Everything here is energy shield. As we go up here, we have intelligence for energy shield. Chaos inoculation, energy shield. Then we have a ton of clusters. We have four clusters, each with cult leader and invigorating portents. So damage and more damage. Plus, we have minion jewels, which are physical damage, attack speed, and energy shields. Ton over here with a voices jewel. We have our, our buff to golems here. We have minions recover 5% of life on death, which is great because if all of our spiders expire, it gives a 100% heal to all of our minions. Ravenous Horde with minion offense mastery. Deep Thoughts with Mana Reservation Efficiency. Energy Shield Mastery for Increased Energy Shield from Helmets. Energy Shield Regen. Offering Effect. I only have Death Attunement here just so that I can get... Uh, actually, no, I have Death Attunement so I can get the Offering Effect and so I can get the Extra Spectre, which is very useful. Over here, just more, more of the exact same jewels. I have an... Amenu's Gaze here, which gives more dot multi for each ghastly eye jewel that affects you to your minions. So up to uh, 30%, so that's five ghastly eye jewels. I have one here, one here, it counts itself, it's three, four here, and I have a fifth down here for now. I need to move this jewel, but for now it's sitting there. This build is not perfect, it's not fully set up. Got the Insightfulness wheel there. Sovereignty Wheel, Faith and Steel, Armor and Energy Shields, more damage, more damage, Jewel. And physical damage from hits taken as chaos damage to just nullify 10% of damage from physical damage. That is basically how the tree is set up here. We're going to move back to gameplay in a second. So going over the items... A lot of this is fairly basic, and also it is broken because I moved it from one monitor to another. Let's try this again. There we go. Uh, I was playing around with just doing uh, a, a single flask with uh, the trader, which gives you four flask charges every five seconds for each missing flask. So that would be six flask charges every five sec or 16 flask charges every five seconds. Which would be more than enough to sustain the Witchfire Brew for as long as I want. And the Witchfire Brew is for the Despair Aura, which is five million of my 12 million damage. It is pretty good. I am still trying to decide whether I want to use that or whether I want to just go for a normal flask setup and then do profane proxy with skitter bots and a despair aura because that'll get me a 
up to level 24 despair curse aura as well as it also give me shock which would be helpful for other reasons i have Arakali's fang for raised spiders you know the main scale squire to support it since the squire is obscenely cheap at only two div this league it's usually like it was like 25 div last league I have an energy shield helmet for re with resistances, incandescent heart here for elemental damage taken as chaos to uh, just nullify a quarter of the elemental damage you take. Gives more energy shield, gives light radius, gives light radius based on energy shields instead of life, which is a skill point I would otherwise have to use for that if I didn't want to just be blind constantly. I have grave binds, which the only benefit of this is nearby enemies killed by anyone count as being killed by you which kind of makes the build function a lot better so that your minions killing things actually do count as you rather than having to kill things yourself on occasion to activate your spiders we have corpse walkers which create corpses as you walk as the, the name would suggest uh, that is just to maintain uh, the necromancer's ascendancy points i'll get back to those in a second astromantis for stats Two stat rings, stat belts. Then we have all of the jewels that we went over earlier. So for the basis of this build, originally, originally, and this does not work as I hoped it would, is I was going to have a loop with Arcanist Brand that would cast Desecrate and Flesh Offering as fast as possible so that... Every time I consumed a corpse, and you consume five corpses with des with uh, you spawn five corpses with desecrate, so you consume five corpses with flesh offering. And the idea was that oh, five times eight is forty percent of energy shield over two seconds when you consume like that set of corpses. And I was going to speed that up. So the problem is, is that it does stack. It is one buff that its duration can be refreshed. It doesn't, it doesn't stack the way I thought it does, so instead I just have a Arcanist brand that has a long duration that just activates kind of slowly and infrequently, uh, just to make sure that we keep up our offering scale. It's just, it's the Arcanist brand because I want it to cast Desecrate and Flesh Offering, so I don't have to use two separate skills, it's just to make it simpler for me. I am half tempted to do something to add a shock effect to the Arcanist brand, potentially, which would give some bonus effects based on our Herald, which I'll get into a little bit later. We have Plague Bringer just because to work with our Corpse Walkers, so when you're near corpses, you deal more damage and take less damage, and you have more air effect. We have Mindless Aggression just for damage, and we have Unholy Strength for damage because the spiders do physical damage converted to chaos damage for some reason, not chaos damage directly, so a natural strength works very well for them. I have considered going for Commander of Darkness, but I like Plaguebringer, despite the fact that it does 500,000 less damage, because it gives you a 10% damage reduction to damage you take, which is honestly way more important. Uh, and Corpse Pact is not useful, because your attack speed and cast speed does not matter. I'd love to take Mistress of Sacrifice 2 to get uh, some more bonuses, but since we use Flesh Offering, the only benefits we're going to get is movement speed, and that's not worth two Ascendancy points. Then we're going to go down to our secondary Ascendancy. We are a Warlock. Uh, I only actually have four points into this, or six points into this, because there is no need for more points, which is kind of a problem, but... Uh, it's the best I can do, really. So, I can't use Dark Effigy. Uh, basically, you create an effigy where you can, if you take damage, it takes it from the effigy's health, and if the effigy takes damage, it takes it from your health, but I don't use health. And also, it's dangerous, so I don't really want to do that. Uh, Sanguimancy just takes, just, uh, is basically blood magic, removes all your mana, I want my mana. So both those suck. I've taken it so that I have Pendant's Brand, so that when you hit things, 
then it spawns multiple enemy phantasms, which are easy to kill. And that allows us to keep spawning spiders even in boss fights. Then we have Foul Pact, which buffs the Penance, Br Penance Mark. I keep saying Penance Brand because they made them named so similarly. Uh, so the Foul Pact adds, its, adds the 50% chance to grant a Vol Soul when you kill a Phantasm, and it grants 50% flat char flash charges always, which is great. And then we have Ravenous, which is you eat a corp, a naturally spawning corpse in a map, and you gain 15% more damage against whatever type of enemy of, of the corpse that you ate, and 10% less damage taken. And then these are just wasted points, really. I have been tempted to move over, potentially, to being a primalist instead that would have some benefits because uh, there is a lot of useful things that you can put in the charms but eh, I don't know the penance brand it, or gosh darn it I wish they didn't name it that the penance mark is just so important yes I can use writhing jars to spawn uh, what are they called enemy worms but the writhing jars require you to keep getting flash charges. They can run out. Penance Mark cannot run out. Unless you can't regenerate mana. In that case, I just will not be in that map anyways. So this is just something you could use infinitely versus the uh, the writhing jars, which you could get stuck in a place. And I don't really want to get stuck with no damage in a boss fight because sometimes every second counts in a boss fight, especially when we're talking uber bosses. Finally, I am going to go over skills. So, Ray Spiders, everything in the main hand and the offhand is just to benefit the Ray Spiders, so just all damage stuff except for Withering Touch support, which allows you to afflict Wither, and Wither increases your chaos damage taken. Uh, I have it set to 10 stacks of Wither right now, if so okay let's let's do the math on this there is a 25 percent chance on hit for the spiders to add a wither stack the the spiders if they're fighting a boss there's nothing else in the arena they have hit twice a second effectively so it's a 50 percent chance a second that they will afflict a wither stack there's 20 spiders. So you have effectively what would that be? You have 40, 40 chances a second to trigger the 25% chance. So you will, if you have all spiders attacking one thing, which you often do if it is just a boss, you will be able to add 10 wither stacks a second, which is really kind of awesome. <laughs> Uh, which, it's, it's fairly reliable, it really is. I am always, I'm always very careful when it comes to uh, the buffs that I add, because I would rather underestimate damage than overestimate damage, just because it's safer to do that. I would rather, I would rather underrepresent the ability of the build than overrepresent it. But, uh, let's assume that all of them are attacking, then... It will take, what, a one and a half seconds of attacking to get 15 stacks, and Wither stacks last two seconds each. So, you can theoretically maintain Wither stacks permanently if you have at least 15 spiders attacking constantly on that boss. And bosses move around and stuff, so, like, it's, it's not going to be perfect. You might be a bit more like 12. Actually, let's let's turn this up. So we're at two point, we're at twelve point six billion right now. If I up this, we're at thirteen point five. Yeah, like a, a single wither stack is like six hundred thousand DPS. It's a fairly big deal, or five hundred thousand DPS. But at maximum, we can go all the way up to fifteen million DPS with the wither stacks. 
I'm going to keep it down at 12 just to be more realistic because they only do have a two second in duration on the wither stack, so I want to be realistic. Going back to skills. Auras. This herald is... I use a herald here specifically because I have four of these cult leader notables, which minions deal 35% increased damage while you're affected by a herald, and the jewels themselves are minion damage while affected by a herald. So I have to have a herald. I had Herald of Agony here just to try it out. It does not do anything. Even with the Grave Binds equipped, it does not... You do not gain virulence, you do not summon Agony Crawlers, it does not give you bonuses to poison because you don't poison yourself. It is useless. If we go to Heralds... We have a few different options. We have Agony, Ash, Ice, Purity, and Thunder. The automatic guess would be to go for Purity, because the Purity spawns minions. The minions themselves are not particularly good. They are... Here, let me swap to it so you can see. I'm going to add them to the full DPS here. There's four security minions. The They do 200,000 of 13.7 million DPS. If all four of them are atta are spawned and attacking at once, and they're not durable minions either, which makes them kind of superfluous, honestly. So I've been kind of playing with all the different heralds because I want to try out and see if there's anything better of an option. Ash works mainly on when you kill an enemy, the other enemies are burned based on how much you overkill the enemy. That is not useful. Uh, we do count as killing enemies via get grave blind, but you don't. You only overkill, as far as as far as I know, you only overkill with hits. The damage over time deals exactly, more or less, exactly enough to kill the enemy when it when it kills it and it's done. Just that's that. So I don't believe overkill. I don't believe overkill damage can even apply here. Herald device requires you to shatter things. I can't chill things, so I cannot shatter things, because I use Void Manipulation on the spiders. So, they cannot do elemental damage to start with. Then we have Purity there. And finally, we have Thunder. If you kill a shocked enemy, it causes a storm. So, here is my thoughts. I am probably going to swap back to Purity, but first, if I go Skitter Bots, and I put... and I go Profane Proxy... I put a Despair Aura in the Profane Proxy. The Skitterbots run around and Despair Aura things. The other Skitterbot that's not the Curse Bot will be the Shocking Bot. Or it will be the Freezing Bot. So. I don't know if the Freezing Bot will give a chance for the minions to freeze. Like a small chance for the minions to freeze things and then potentially trigger Herald of Ice? I don't think so. However, the shocking bot will absolutely shock things. 100% it will shock things. Which means that Herald of Thunder will trigger constantly. Uh, I don't know if that's useful though. Because, uh, I mean, the Herald of Thunder isn't going to do a lot of damage. Necessarily. I don't think so. Let's, let's add Herald of Thunder to this. Let's see what happens. Held of Thunder does 3,000 damage of 13 million. <laughs> uh, I mean, that might be a bit more if I increase it. Uh, if I increase it with the shock effect. But... <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I don't know. So I'm kind of just in between thinking about what of any of these heralds I want... I'm probably going to go Purity just for the fact that there's four more bodies that are distracting things. But they won't have Taunt, so that's not very useful. Unless they have Taunt built in, which I don't believe they do. Taunt built in? No. No, you do not. 
It has minions deal 95% more physical damage, but I'm pretty sure that's minions from Herald of Purity. Well, actually, I'm 100% sure, because... Okay, well, that's... It says, it says it gives a lot of damage, but that's only because it's cult leaders depending on it. I'm gonna add Agony here as well. So, this adds 51,000 of 13 million damage. Having the, uh... No, it's more. 200,000 of 15 million damage. So, it's just... It's just a tiny little thing. I probably will go Purity. I am still gonna try and see if there's some crazy fucking thing I can end up doing with Herald of, of, uh, Herald of Thunder, maybe, but... Or Herald of Ash, or so not Herald of Ash, uh, Herald of uh, Ice, and the Chilling Skitter bot? I don't know. We'll have to see how that goes. Then we have Malevolence here, and Precision, both with Generosity support, since Malevolence is good for damage over time, and the Spider's damage is 95% poison. In our chest plate, we have our Golems and Spectres. Garion Golem for extra damage to our minions. Stone Golem for life regen, which our Zealot's Oath converts into energy shield regen. Very important. We have our Ray Spectre so that we can have our many very cool Affliction Spectres. We have Tortal, who can give a Determination Aura, and the Cannot Be Damaged buff on very rare occasions. We have the Marionette, which can explode and scorch things. We have the Spider Matriarch, which can create spiders and adds Wither Effect. We have the Alchemist, which increased potion effect, or potion, flask effect. There's there's a ton of different specters you can add. Unfortunately, you cannot add them to Path of Building because uh, adding all those specters to the list is going to take some time, and I don't really have the time to figure out how to do it, unfortunately, and no one else really seems to have the time to do it either. But that's life. Minion life for all the things. Meat shield here so that uh, the golems taunt, and so the specters, they all move a bit faster, and they all take 30% less damage, as well as they're defensive. Minions that are defensive will not attack things unless they are attacked, or in the specific case of meat shield, I am attacked. Which is good, because I would prefer Tortle uh, does not run off after things the moment that it sees them, I would prefer it stays near me, which is what it does. Then we have Feeding Frenzy, which makes minions aggressive. I don't know what happens when Meat Shield and Feeding Frenzy go together, because one makes them defensive and one makes them aggressive. I don't know how that works. What I do know is that between the three Spectres and the two Golems, so five minions, they have a 44% chance each on hit of causing Feeding Frenzy, which gives a huge buff to minion damage. So we're at 13.7 right now. If I disable Feeding Frenzy, we get on to 12 million. So it's 1.7 million DPS. Ah, oh, there it is. 10% more... 10% more minion damage. 10% increased movement speed. 10% increased minion attack and cat speed. And then we have Meat Shield, where if the minion is near you, it uh, takes less damage. Don't know how that stuff works. I might need to change the order that these are in, potentially in the skill setup, because it's potentially the first gem that sets their their uh, nature. Or maybe the first gem sets the nature, and the second gem overrides it. Who knows? I still need to look into how that works. We have our corpse brand here. We have a level 1 Arcanist brand. No quality, because we actually want it to activate as slow as humanly possible. And level 1 means that it has the lowest cost possible. Exact same with Desecrate. Uh, we do not need good corpses. All we need are corpses of any type. Flesh Offering does not care whether they are level 20 or level 100. Then Flesh Offering, which actually is level 21, to uh, give uh, attack speed, cast speed, and movement speed. Uh, the level 21 specifically is only to give 1% more movement speed. It is a quality of life thing. It is not required. It's just extra. And then we have specifically level 11 Arcane Surge, which triggers when, after one second of using the brand. Because Flesh Offering specifically has enough 
uh, it consumes enough uh, mana that it will trigger, that it spends a little bit over 80 mana per second, which means that it, we will always have Arcane Surge, which means we will always have the mana regen. As I mentioned earlier while we we're doing the gameplay, there is also pos the possibility of swapping this Arcane Surge out for something like a uh, skill that chills or a skill that, that shocks, just something else to add like a little bit of an extra effect. That is also possible. We will see. Then finally, we just have our travel stuff in our boots with our Discipline Aura, which is separate from all the other auras because the other auras have generosity on them, and I don't want Discipline to have generosity on it because otherwise we will die. Then just Ravenous and Penance Mark from the Warlocks. Okay, and that is the Arachnophobia build version 1 as is. I'm going to upload this on the YouTube channel as a build guide. Uh, the next thing we are going to do is we are going to jump back into gameplay so that we can keep having fun because not everyone likes this this boring shit. So I'll be honest, I really like this boring shit. <laughs> this is like the stuff that makes me happy. <laughs> oh, I forgot to mention something. We have Whispers of Doom over here for an additional curse. The reason why we do that is because we have Penance Mark, which takes up one curse slot. And then we have Witchfire Brew, which takes up a second one with Despair. Uh, if we did not do that, we would constantly be overriding our Penance brand or Penance Mark every single time we used it with Despair, and that would just be pointless, and we would not be able to, to actually spawn Phantasms to kill. Okay, and we shall transition backwards to Path. Okay, I'm going to grab a refund point to do something stupid. I'm going to refund the 6% energy shield here. I'm going to add the 4% here. And since we have an extra point now, I'm going to add the 8%. So these are now two 6% effectively. Just because it is actually more effective to move this over in the short term than it is to otherwise not. Oops. I totally just hit the mic. I'm not used to having a mic directly in front of me. It's surprisingly easy to get used to, but there is definitely times where I'll just like whack it. Okay, what else fun do we have to do? I want to try something else kind of weird, I'm thinking. Uh... I think I want to go with the Chimera. I want to try, try the Chimera, because I think I will be best against the Chimera specifically. It's a small arena, and there isn't a lot of damaging fields for my Spectres to get eaten by. Okay, using the brand. Keep up our flesh offering. Good, good. Skipping the Wildwood for now, because we cannot take on a buffed Chimera. I use the brand semi-regularly, just whenever whenever I see a pack, I throw the brand into it so that I can keep up the Essence Glutton, which is the uh, extra energy shield and mana regen from the Ascendancy. Whoa, there's a lot of things here. What's going on? A lot of damaging auras. Everyone come over here for a second. What is all that shit? We must have killed something weird. Are, they, are these pipes full of blood? Why? I thought the Romans created the aqueducts to transfer water, not pools of blood. Something interesting that y'all might have noticed in the uh, build video that we just did was that I don't have any real minion life or 
uh, minion protection stuff allocated in the build, which is dangerous. Uh, the main reason for that is that the spiders which rush forward and are the aggressive ones do not have any, cannot take damage whatsoever. They are immortal as long as their duration is maintained. So it doesn't really feel too necessary to do it. Uh, if I start having trouble maintaining my specters, I might do it just to protect my specters. But up until now, I've kind of avoided it just because it felt a bit superfluous. Hey, okay, Tortle, stay with me. I'm a bit worried. Okay. Is that? That looks like the right way. It's corner, okay. Come with me, Tortle. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to just kind of like walk a little bit into a pack and then convocate to bring all my minions into the pile, basically, and so that I have the turtle right beside me. It also gives a... Uh, uh, it gives a regeneration effect. It's only 1.5% right now, but it will go up over time. I think it's about like 2 2.5% of life per second is regenerated for the minions, and... These minions are very tanky. Some of them. Uh, can I in any way see the life of these? No, that would be too much to ask for, wouldn't it? <laughs> like, I can see how much increased life and more life I have, but I don't see anything else. Oh, that's interesting. It has both the minions are defensive and minions are aggressive tags. <laughs> that's weird. I don't... Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, hold on. Before I go in there, I'll go back here, I'm gonna eat something. Eldritch. Okay, I ate an Eldritch thing. Hopefully that will mean that the Chimera is less dangerous to me. Okay, got a Penance Brand. Okay, spiders are spawning now. Um, why is that not? Oh, I removed the bleed protection from my flask and instead put regeneration, which I think was wrong. Because I thought it would be better, but I think the regenerate percent per, per second does not work since it go goes based on life. I think it goes based on life rather than going based on energy shield because of Zealot's Oath. I thought Zealot's Oath would have been enough, but it... I don't... I don't know. Yeah, your Chaos projectiles do nothing. Where is he now? Ah! Face my piranhas! Wow, like, none of my creatures are taking damage. I'm the only one who takes any amount of damage right now. I even have Temporal Chains right now, and I'm still not suffering too much. To be fair, th though, this map is not juice. I'm only 49% quant. <laughs> so I really do love the fact that I can stand directly in the middle, and my spiders have enough range to chase down everything. Okay, another thing. Run, my spiders, run. Did I remove my faster casting? Yeah, I removed my faster casting to put Convocation there. I noticed how slow I was with casting. Uh, I looked away for a second. <laughs> Fuck. Oh, hi, Anne. Pleasure to see you here. Chimera is a beast. Okay. Interesting. Uh, can I find a beast to eat right outside the arena? I mean, I probably don't need to, but like... Numb? No. Uh, numb? Beast! 
Okay. I thought the fact that it was a skeletal beast would be a problem, but no. I think I got crit by one of the fireballs because I was being a bit lax and just like standing there. <laughs> Up, goodbye. Ooh. Phoenix. We could do a Phoenix. We get the turtle killed again. I, I really hope not. I, I I have started to become emotionally invested in Turtle and his life. You're a good Turtle. Yes, you are. Very good Turtle and good meat sack. You know what? I'm not gonna. I'm just gonna go elsewhere. I'm sorry, I cannot treat you equal equally. Okay, let's try the Phoenix. Who I think is going to be more dangerous. A lot more dangerous because the phoenix tends to be a lot more glassy thankfully though uh so i sh i should show this because Ooh. okay struggling a bit i should show this really quick so i actually picked up some really cool jewels i picked up a set specifically of like a corrupted mirrored set uh, they're both ancient prisms, so they both have chance to avoid ignite and chance to avoid stun in the implicit and chance to avoid ignite in the explicit. So I have like a like a f 140 percent chance to avoid ignite and a 50 percent chance to avoid stun between these two. So ignite won't be a problem for me. Uh, I have 33 percent chance to avoid freeze. And a 49% chance to avoid freeze. I'm hoping to get another jewel somewhere at some point and add some more freeze resistance. Maybe take out one of these and add more freeze resistance. I, I can I can take having like a 35% chance to be ignited in exchange for being immune to freeze. That'd be nice. Maybe a freeze and stun avoidance one. I don't have these in the builds themselves because I don't really expect to be able to get these normally, being that they are kind of, like each of these jewels was like a div. Actually, the the set I think was like a div for the whole for the two, but this one was definitely a div, and so was this one. Actually, no, this one with the with the nearly max rolled chance to avoid freeze was a was too div very expensive but sometimes you gotta pay to make a build fun this ha, be be not mistaken this is not a cheap build unfortunately but it is a fun build and it is actually like realist like a bit more realistic than it used to be now that you can buy a like a uh, squire is actually more realistically obtainable a lot of things happening Ooh, what are you i don't recognize that belt home's binding oh you're new or at least you're new to me Apparently it's very cheap. Okay. Take no burning damage if you stop burning recently. Nearby enemies convert 25% of their physical damage to fire. Does that mean you can toggle righteous fire on and off and not take burning damage for four seconds? I mean, it'd be hard to toggle it. Unless you have, like, some convoluted setup, but that actually is kind of cool. Mm. No, I don't actually want to deal with any of that ish. That, that ish. Ish? That shit. 
No, I'm doing it. I'm going to try to be very careful what map mods I add to this, just because the phoenix is a really scary creature. Like, I wouldn't be too scared of it if I was on the Hexblast build, because my Hexblast builds can basically permafreeze things. It's really crazy how that works, actually. Being that it has a 100% crit chance, so it guar it's a guaranteed freeze and a strong one at that. Since it hits hard. You can actually you, literally, very, very literally, permafreeze the breach lords in the non-peer breach zones. I haven't tried the peer ones, but in the non-peer ones, you can 100 percent freeze them and just leave them frozen. Uh-oh. No. No no no. No no no. No no no. No no no. No no. Okay. I popped all my buffs. <laughs> That was scary. Okay, Eldritch Minions have 782% increased evasion rating. I still don't know if evasion rating is dangerous to me. I mean, if I don't hit something, I don't... Uh, I don't poison it, but... My minions don't seem to be having any trouble otherwise. So, I don't know. Doors, my greatest weakness. Also dying. That is another weakness of mine. I tend to be quite weak to death. Pikachu uses kill. It's super effective. Except against Shajinja. <laughs> oh. Too busy. Too busy. Okay, this is this is fine. This is manageable. Pretty decent for a tier 16. I'm not really having as many issues now with my my carrying golem is dying as I'm speaking. I'm not having as many issues with my specters and golems dying because of the meat shield buff because they now take 6% less damage than they did before. That's good. Also a little bit faster. So I'm hoping Hoping they can keep up. I'm missing a huge chunk of my damage currently. Uh, because I do not have... I do not actually have my Despair Curse yet. Which is kind of important, actually. Okay, I'm gonna just do that. I'm gonna rush in. Immediately attack the man. No! Stop. Please kill him. He is so dangerous. Please kill him. Nope. Please don't kill my turtle. No. How did that go? We're all alive! The the phoenix scares me unreasonably. <laughs> okay, now to zoom. Zoom! Wow. Whee! Holy shit, I love speed shrines so much. There's still stuff I missed. Maybe. Kind of. 
a little bit. Cool, we have a Cassia, we have an Ultimatum. Miasma! There is nothing about it in Zoom. Why, that's, that's why I loved my Raider last league. She was so nice. Ooh, that's actually a really cool belt with the Malevolence Aura effect. God, she had over 200% movement speed regularly. I loved her so much. She was definitely unreasonably expensive, too, though. I don't really want to make her again. Also, I don't like doing the same builds more than once in a row. Man, I love Chaos Inoculation. So nice to be able to just sit in the Miasma Cloud like, you know, I'm just okay. I need to remember to keep convocating so that my minions stay healthy. Not that I don't think they really need it right now, but I mean, oh, that's a double corruption. Those corruptions don't work together. Limited arena. Oh, oh, God, that's so small. I didn't realize it would be that limited. Uh, OK, I guess I'm going to sit in the middle here. No. You know what? This is dangerous. I'm just gonna not do that. That That is not valuable. Having two unrelated things on it is not valuable. Stop telling me it's valuable, loot filter. Let me check them on their own. Curse gems. Five chaos. Projectile gems. And chaos. I wonder if if uh, not Hunter's Mark, a Poacher's Mark is uh, project has a projectile and a curse tag. You get more movement speed with the Wildwood Pass that gives movement speed. Yeah, definitely. Fifteen C boots. Yeah, see, the problem is that I can't use Warden on this character because I need Warlock for Penance Brand to summon enemies to summon my spiders. Unless I go Writhing Jar, which is less reliable, and I don't like it. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna hide right here. Okay, I can make a thing here. Hmm... Someone kill that man. Okay. Mm. Mm. Okay, scout tower, because scout tower is our king. Oh god, there's more... I'm just going to hide over here, where I'm safe. Ish. I don't have very good sight. Oh, they can shoot through the bars. Okay, never mind. I have great sight lines. Sure, I'll just add a seismic tower there. Why not? Oh, there's a friend over here. Hello, friend. No, where are you? Friend? Ah, oh, Blake. Oh, no, they're gone. Okay. Goodbye, friend. Complete blights. Cool. Yeah, this does does feel like a very weird place to have a blight. Like it, it does not feel like the the roots would be able to get through anything. Oh, same treasure. Nice. Yeah, that's all the ultimatum. Blight, and finally the Wildwood. Because I was too scared to go in there before we dealt with the Phoenix. So 
look that after. Why's the envoy here? You just hanging out? Cool. He's chilling. You're gonna skip the blight challenge? Yeah, that's fair. Honestly, I... I don't really have too many issues, specifically because the spiders have a very high movement speed. Uh, depending on the number of minions you have, if you go, like, quality over quantity, it would be much harder to do Blight, so I do understand that. Oh. Okay, thank you. Thankfully, Tortle avoided the detonate dead there. Oh no, oh no. Oh no, I've made an error. I made an error. I made an error. I made an error. Okay. <laughs> I survived the error. Oh. I'm okay. I'm okay. Uh. That was a revive nearby minions with onslaught thing. That's why it was so scary. Uh, what are you? Like to be temporarily infused with sacred energy. What the fuck does that do? Increased action speeds, speed, size, air effect, damage. It cannot be damaged for five minutes. Oh, wow. That would be cool if we weren't on the map. <laughs> I guess that's one of the disadvantages of doing this last. But I, I always am so worried that I'm just going to get shredded by something Wildwood Empowered because it's happened so many times. Oh, wait, I don't have to be concerned. I cannot be. I literally cannot take damage. Uh, I've lost the trail I was following, but that's okay because I'm about to be out of energy, anyways, or light. Yeah. Okay, and we're going to go back here and trigger this, just so that we can get a few extra minions to kill. Okay. My golems got hurt pretty badly from that, but that's fine. I There's a reason why my Herod Golem is having so much trouble. It is two levels below the Stone Golem right now. It's still level 21 instead of 23. It will get stronger. List that for a bit lower than they're worth because it is better to make a sale than uh, potentially gain a little bit more money. Okay, comes binding into my stash for my collection in standard. Oh wow, we've been going over two hours already. I feel like we barely streamed today. Any fun dip card stuff? Not too much. Oh, we actually do have some deli maps still. I say still, but we have some deli maps we could do. Oh my god, this is a 100% delirious map. Uh, this is see, this is a bad idea. This scares me. <laughs> you know what? Let's see what happens. 
Uh, I guess I will add... Who should I add to this? Um, I can add an Einhar mission. Yeah, th the problem with 100% Delirium is that it's a 90% damage reduction that you get. Which is dangerous, as you might imagine. <laughs> I'll grab these. Not adding to run spirits onto it? Okay. See, here's the thing. I am going to go Einhar. I am going to deal with Red Beast. But there's a reason why I'm doing this. Because I have I I have the uh let me, let me bring it up. I have Mighty Hunter, which means that Einhard does 1,000 more damage to unique monsters, so base cooldown recovery and remains in the map. And we're gonna hopefully pick up a huck to get auras and such. So I need to change his auras out. So let's see how this goes. I don't know if I'm going to be able to kill anything. Oh, no, things are things are actually dying. Uh, oh, God, this is this is a little bit dicey. I don't totally like this. <laughs> Wait, where are my golems? Did, did my golems die or am I confused? I think my golems just died. Oh god. Oh god, they're dying. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Hmm. I hope I did not just condemn another turtle to death. Did I make bad choices? I might have made bad choices. Okay, slow and steady rings their ways. Yeah, long haul. We can do this. Uh, the turtle's fine. Cool. Now we can do this. We just need to be careful. And also not go into the wildwood. Ever. <laughs> wow. Oh my gosh, there's so many things here. So many splinters. <laughs> no, I didn't want to go in here. Oh shit. Uh oh shit. I did not want to go in here. Um I'm going to try to no, I'm going to try to expend my light without picking up wisps. Which is stupid, I know, but I'm trying desperately to not make this map harder than it is. Because otherwise I will not be able to do it. Increased quant does not matter on a map you cannot do. Oh, no, I, okay, I gotta clear the area first. Before I concern myself with everything else happening. You know, I probably can portal out. That's true. Perfect spirit of fortune. 30 chaos. Perfect marionette. 80 chaos. Imperfect spirit of fortune. Nothing. How come it's nothing? Okay. These are both very valuable. Tanglemancer, not worth anything. Slashing Whore, not worth anything. Meat Sack is definitely not worth anything. Okay. I need 500. Oh, cool. Okay. I am not going to have many Wisps at all, then, because I am going to buy the Perfect Spirit of Fortune, and now I have no Wisps, basically. Oh, I thought that was the portal spawning. 
How do you get better corpses from the vendor? Do his quest line? Uh, I'll be honest. I think you just go to higher tier maps. Like, I think it's the area level that matters the most. Oh, there's a... Oh, no. There's a Wildwood Abomination there. I don't have Einhar yet, either. Unfortunately. Oh, well, he wasn't very scary. Oh, no. No, no, no. That is an area full of rares. I need to be careful. No! Saw the explosions in time this time. I think those killed me earlier. Need to keep moving so that the explosions don't catch me. I'm gonna get away from the yellow. I can spend the purple now. Oh, I have a thousand already. Oh, God. I will definitely say that I do not see many perfects. It's kind it just seems to be a crapshoot, but there's probably some sort of something to it. Oh yeah, the the flower thing is like really dangerous. Okay, I'm trying to like expend all like expend as much okay i can expend down to three purple wisps <laughs> okay that's good no okay 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 everyone together please together now who is getting murdered? Oh, that's my golems. Okay, my golems can get murdered. I don't care about the golems. Okay. Have a good time grinding. Good luck. Watch out for Untainted Paradise in your Kirak missions for leveling. I honestly probably will not stream too, too much longer. We're going to... I'm going to say that this will be the last map, and then we are going to go... Uh, and we're going to go uh, turn in our div cards that we have. This is pretty good for a build that is not properly set up and is doing a tier 10 100% delirious map. <laughs> not necessarily well, but I am doing it. And being able to do it at all is a big deal in my opinion. Because 100% delirium is a huge, huge thing. As someone who has done has done it a little bit of it before. This is like a pretty big challenge. I actually used to do a ton of delirium. I don't as much anymore. I think I just kind of fell out of love with it. Okay, I'm gonna back up. Convocate, bring everyone together. Convocate over here, dump my minions, run away. Let them, oh god, convocate. You keep them away from that shit. Still can't tell whether these are aggressive minions or not, but. Whether they're aggressive or defensive, but. They have both tags. <laughs> oh, 
Oh god, that's Omniphobia. Oh, 100% Delirious Omniphobia. I am phobia of him. Arachnophobia versus Omniphobia. Oh, he's dead. That was actually quite anticlimactic. <laughs> what? Not believe he melted like that. That's crazy. Oh, that that's a beast. That's a beast. Oh my gosh, that's a beast. That means I get Einhar. I don't think I had Einhar before now. Yay. Glad to have you, Einhar. I need your light. Oh. Wait, actually, your buffs are useless to me. No, that's not true. The life regen gets converted with Zealot's Oath. Uh, eh. How much life regen do I have, anyways? I'm at a thousand energy shield regen a second, which is way more than I should have. So, I definitely have, like, I'm definitely getting a huge buff from Einhar. Gone to like focus mode, trying to protect Tortle. The Tortle must survive. Even if I die, he must live. Ironically, despite the fact that I am a necromancer, I can't bring him back to life after he dies. Again. It kind of feels like my one and only ability as a necromancer. And yet I cannot do it. Ooh, splinters. Oh god, there's a pile of stuff over there now. No. Okay, respawn some stuff. Drag everyone over here. Who is struggling? Okay, the turtle's fine. That's okay, as long as the turtle's okay. I'll protect the turtle too with my life. The first turtle did not have a good life, unfortunately. Well, no, he had a good life. It just was a very short one. <laughs> eh? No! Oh, no. I got... I got bitten. Uh, that's why is it... Okay. I had to wait for the poison to finish. Yeah, make sure, make sure if you do a build like this that you do not respawn before the poison has finished doing its damage to the monsters around you. Otherwise, you will just lose damage. Step away. Okay, everyone. 
Let us try this again. Wait, why didn't... Why didn't that spawn anything? There we go, there are the spiders. Oh god. I don't like whatever that was. Something's very fast. I'm gonna stand this pile of corpses because it makes me stronger. <laughs> I am hungry for corpses. Can I... I need a corpse to eat. Okay, cool. I ate a beast corpse. Cool. Cool. Eh. Oh, God. What... What do? Delirium is scary. Delirium is scary. I mean, it's always been scary, but... Oh, there's a Harbinger there. That's what's going on. I knew something was dangerous. That's probably where all the monsters are coming from, is the Harbinger. That would make sense. It's not spawning anymore, which means it spawned all its minions somewhere else, and I haven't killed them yet. Right here. These are its minions. Oh, it's going to start spawning stuff behind us in a second, then. So I need we need to be careful that we're not backing up into something really bad. Yep, they're right there now. Okay, run back. Kate for health. Advocate for health. Got to protect the turtle. Total protection squad. I am 20 small spiders and one big fuck off turtle. <laughs> My favorite type of build. This is pretty good for a level 88 character to be able to survive this. Oh god, nope. Nope, that's a bit much. Okay. No, I'm not getting cross struck. Thank you very much. Okay, gonna keep the Arcanist brands down. No, 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 no. We're not, we're not doing the whole lag thing. That's not happening. You Karen Golem. Whatever this is is not happy with my existence. So. I'm gonna have to go a bit slow. I want to rush that shrine, but I also don't want to take unnecessary risks. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff over there. I need to be careful. Nope. Pull everyone back, away from the explosions. I forgot that convocation is, like, really important for being able to move things. Tough. My minions are over there fighting for their lives, and I'm like, SHINY! SHINY FRIEND! Oh, that looks like an ex- no, that's not an exile, it's just a really buffed Herald of Octava. This is 100% Delirium with some amount of wisps, too. That's actually terrifying. Oh. I got a- the blinding shrine thing. That's not very good. And here's the shocking one. That's fine. Well, Arcane Surge is active. Basically, do not go down in, in mana, which is really nice. Gotta keep moving. Gotta keep using the buffs I have while I have them. At least I am blinding things so they are less dangerous to turtle. Take my body, not the turtle. I will be... I will 
FBI Mr. President for the turtle if I have to. Uh, well, I guess that's what just happened, so let's just say that's what I just did, and not make it sound like it is just a complete mistake that led to my death there. Let's empty some more stuff out of my inventory. So I had 32 splinters plus the 12 I just got, so that's 44 splinters I've gotten from this map. Don't ask me why I remember exactly how many splinters I put away. I'm just gonna put those separate. So I can track how many I got. This is cool. Okay. Try this again. I definitely should have waited before doing that until the rest of the map was clear. But it's gonna go into a scary zone soon, isn't it? I need something to to trigger a kill, please. Something kill something. There we go. Okay. Spiders! Spider time! Kill everything! Mm, nope. I'm getting stunlocked. Stunlock me. Don't stunlock me, bro. No. 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 God, this map is scary. Okay, I ate another corpse. It's good. I need to remember to keep that up. That's definitely a soul eater. There's no way it's not a, that's a fucking soul eater. Murder him. Fucking kill him. We have to kill him, or he will kill us. Get him, get him, get him, get him. Please. Please. Is he dead? No, almost? Yes. Okay. A Soul Eater hasted rare is awful. I am very lucky that I was somehow ab able to out damage his regen, because that. I almost wasn't able to do that. If there was more things with him, I would not have been able to do that. I even stopped marking him so that there would be less enemies to kill, so that they would all focus. This almost wants me to... What? No. This almost makes me want to try Signal Prey, or Predator Support, whatever it's called. The skill is called Signal, signal Prey. I wonder how well that would work with uh, spiders. Then at least you can tell them where to go. But I don't know how well the AI will respond to being told where to go. I also don't know how much direction they need with Predator Sparks. I never used it. Okay, now that's actually getting a bit hairy there. On a new one. Golem. Okay. More spiders. Oh, there's a breach here. Nice. I'm kind of terrified to actually see how dangerous this boss is. Nope. What am I doing? Do not open the breach till we clear everything else. There is there is dangerous things here still. I am risking things for nothing if I... Oh my gosh, there's a huck down there. I'm going to rush it. This is dangerous. I'm going to do it. Okay. I have huck with me now. And he will give a damage boost to my spiders. Assuming that Call to Arms works on spiders. I assume it would. Huck, where are you, anyways? Ah, he's in the mess here. This is my strategy to just make maps, like, unreasonably... Like, or not unreasonably easy, but like make them a lot easier is just bring Einhar with you, bring Huck with you, just grab every buff you can. If you're a direct damage build, uh, swap Einhar out for um, uh, for the Sulfite Intoxication. Just get like 100% extra damage, you know, that fun stuff. 
Oh wow, that is a lot of things. Nope, everyone out of there. Everyone out of there. Okay. I feel like I'm wielding a bus full of psychotic poison knife holding kindergartners. And I'm just like, over here, please. Bow the leader. Murder that man. You know, what kindergarten teachers say usually. Wait a minute. Hold on. I don't know how to use the Twitch Creator dashboard. That is why I'm having trouble. Clip. Wanted to add a marker. Okay. okay, onwards. That is so many. <laughs> There's just so many fractured items there. Don't want to deal with all of that at once. Let's, let's clear out this area before I look at what the fractured items are. Okay, everyone's form up. Go back in. Ram the bus into the beast. Okay. Modification. Respawning my golems. Rude mother, I think? The red beast is the important thing. It's dangerous. Darkness brand to uphold essence glutton. Keep going. Convocation. Form up. Regeneration. Form back on the red beast. Darkness brand. Maintain essence glutton. Mark. Still have Ravenous up on Beasts, that's good. Warm up. There's a nice little choke point here. There's so many things going on. Attack! Man, this would be so nice when I have, like, the other third of my damage that comes from actually having a curse. That isn't just the, uh, mark. I should really get that at some point, because this map would have been so much easier if I just had more damage. Funny how that works. That was not the right scale. I did not mean to waste my ball discipline. Okay, well, I'm gonna mark a bunch of things. Create little phantasms so that I can keep getting more Vol Souls and recharge my Discipline faster. Oh, almost at the boss room. We've done remarkably well for a 100% Delirious map, even if it is a tier 10. There is a relatively notable amount of juicing in here, too. It's not, not nothing. This also reminds me I don't have Culling Strike on anything. I might want to add that to something somehow. 
Not that I currently have anything to add it to, but... Unless I want to add it to a golem, maybe. Could do that, but I'd have to take something out to do that. I don't really want to do that. Okay, now for the really scary thing, where we go fight Mervale with seven stages of Delirium at 100% tier 10. Oh, God! Why did I even bother coming in here? This is awful. I'm so fucked. Thank you for saving me temporarily, Shaper, but, like, that's not going to last. Do you think I'm going to survive longer? Actually, I'm still alive somehow. Why am I still alive? That is kind of confusing. I mean, I do... I am a minion build, I guess. There's a Harbinger in here! Why is there a fucking Harbinger in here? Does the map boss, the Harbinger, and all the Delirium shit all at once? Why? Holy shit, am I actually gonna do this? We've cleared up most things. Wait. What? Where's Merva? Oh my gosh, Mervale's at her second stage somehow. We must have... Holy shit, she's going down. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, we just killed a... 100% Delirious Tier 10 boss with a level 88, not totally theory-crafted proper build. And I don't even have a chunk of my damage. How the fuck did we do that? Okay, that was a bit mind-blowing. Now to finish the rest of the map. <laughs> Yeah, I think we did all the abyss. Oh, yeah, there's a breach right here. Let's clear this little section here. Let me clear the bridge. And then we go over the bridge, but not till we clear this area. Wow, we did not get very far. <laughs> But you know what? That's okay. We survived it, and that's the most important thing. We also killed a ton of shit. There's that, too. Is there anything else in this map? I think... I feel like there's one more thing somewhere. But... I think, uh, unless there... No, we did the Wildwood already, so that's not a thing we still need to do. No, we're done. Wow. I cannot believe we completed a tier 10 100% Delirious map on this character already. Like, this... I thought this build was going to be strong, but, like... I didn't think I was tanky enough for this. I thought I, we... Like, honestly, I did not think we would even get a quarter of the map done. The fact that we full cleared that map is... I'm just shaking my head right now. Like, like that's just ridiculous to me. This build has definitely blown my expectations out of the water. It's actually four splinters from that. That's pretty nice. Okay, one more final thing to do for the stream today. We're going to do a little tiny bit... Of gambling. We have some div cards to do. Ball gem, least interesting first. Ice shot, K. Okay. That's fine. That's 20 chaos, that's actually decent. Corrupted weapon. Got a life sprig. No. Belt. Ah, bated breath. Currency, five mirrors, please. Yeah, of course. And the void. Oh. Bone ring. I mean, I still got 20 chaos out of that. That's actually a pretty good deal. That is not a good bone ring. Oh, it's an I'm level 100 bone ring, though. Is that... Is that actually... No, it's not worth anything. Okay. I mean, I can always leave it in here and maybe it'll be worth something. And we can see. Maybe I'll craft it into something. 
Oh yes. I I bought a shiny life spark at some point because it was cheap. So I cannot put this in there. Actually, you know, I should level this gem. What am I doing? It would be a waste not to. If it's 20C before it's level, it's got to be worth something to finish it off. Or to, like, actually level it, I mean. Wow, okay, that was a great stream. We got so much done today. Oh. Thank you all for watching. For those on YouTube, if you like this comment, remember to like and subscribe to the YouTube channel to see more. Uh, and leave a comment down below if you have any ideas for future videos. Bye, all.